don't know about you, but from where I'm sitting, things are just looking a little grim out there today, folks. I'm not sure what it is, I just can't seem to get my juices flowing like they used to. I was all excited to try this old folk remedy I heard about, right up until I realized the secret ingredient was something you had to dig out of one of those snake chicks running around out there. Now, don't get me wrong, if I thought I could catch one, I would have at least tried it. I've been working with a few local operators, helping people out on the fringes wherever we could. In this case, we were following up on some rumors about the aliens hitting a town out on the coast. We just figured Advent was finally getting down to the stragglers. X-ray neutralized! Seems doable. Just giant bugs to us back then. We didn't know anything about the science. Chrysalids. Strange ones, too. White. Like they were covered in bone. I hope everyone's having a great day out there in the occupied territory. Don't let Advent get you there. In fact, I would urge all of you to play nice with them. Relax. And that, do what I do. It ain't folded down! <laughs> Until we got close to town that we started picking up these transmissions. We didn't know what to make of it. It sure as hell wasn't Advent. And no one in the Resistance was stupid enough to leave the aliens with a signal to follow. Yours truly just wasn't good enough for their precious adventure. 
God forbid a man make himself a little snack in between orders. It's not like they're gonna run out of that. Eventually, we killed off the waves of chrysalids pouring into town. But we still didn't know what was riling them up in the first place. Advent brought in some equipment for the troops stationed at the local outpost. We were able to scrounge up a few things, but we couldn't take everything. If the chrysalids were moving underwater, every town, camp, and settlement along the coast was at risk of the same fate as that last one. We decided to keep moving. If nothing else, we could try and warn people before the next attack. And wouldn't you know it? The further we got, the stronger the signal from the new self-proclaimed King of the Airwaves. Part of me was almost hoping Advent would drown him out with some soothing propaganda of their own. But he had really jammed up their frequencies somehow. There was a cold snap moving in. The wind coming off the water was brutal. I only remember because when we got to the camp, it was burning. And the heat was a welcome change despite knowing what it meant for the locals. Stops, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, it's not easy being the talent, the management, and the technician around here. I might even have to start pre-recording some of these to sleep. I mean, how long has it been? What, 36 hours? Does anybody know what Thursday is on the advent calendar? Glarg's day! Something like that, right? Seems doable. <laughs> Rest yet? A long run. You must run. Stepping off. <laughs> Starting to get cooked! Surprisingly enough, it wasn't the chrysalids this time. At least, not right off the bat. Advent was in town, and they seemed to be having some trouble with the bugs too. We also had a few civilians to contend with. The whole situation was a mess. Yeah. 
You might be asking yourself, Central, if you didn't want to listen to the teaching, why not just shut off your radio? And you'd be right to ask. You see, the problem was, the stronger his signal got, the more it interfered with our comm link. We could either go completely radio silent, or put up with him for a bit longer. Target's still up! Their casualties 
for you. Does anyone else know that they got an uptick in big meat alien bugs running around? Nasty white ones with laser sharp talons? No? Yeah, yeah, me either. That'd, that'd be crazy, right? No, I'm, I'm probably just seeing things. Yeah. Well, keep your eyes peeled just in case, though. Okay? Broadcasting from at that point. For all we knew, he could have been thousands of miles away. That was until he mentioned those big, mean bugs he thought he saw. It was possible that these white chrysalids were all over the world, but it seemed a lot more likely that the DJ was somewhere close by. Target neutralized. They're journeying here! Tough fight. Some of my people got a little too close out there, but we eventually pulled through. We pulled some gear from the workshop we found set up by the radio tower. There was some decent stuff in there, so the choice of what to haul out wasn't easy. We made our way further up the coast by boat while chasing the DJ's signal. From what we pieced together, he had been building his own radio network across the territories that were still free from advent control. Rigging stolen relays and antennas up and down the seaboard to get his message across, he had managed to stir something else up. Whether it was the frequency or something in the equipment Move itself, in silence. the chrysalids loved the sound of his voice. To them, it was like the DJ had been ringing the dinner bell in every town he visited. Now that we had a working theory as to what was attracting the chrysalids, all we had to do was go in and destroy all the equipment the DJ had already installed. Sounds easy enough, right? Well, it wasn't. The closer we got, the more trouble we found. Go, go, go! Enemy sighted. On it. Moving quickly. As you direct. I feel I need to get this out there. There's some rumors going around. Bug rumors. And from the sounds of it, maybe I'm not that crazy after all. You're starting to see them too, right? The white things with the pointy legs, the clickety-clack creepers. That's right.
allies. This transmitter was the DJ stole from Advent. It could have been doing exactly what it was originally designed for. Maybe the aliens needed them to corral the chrysalids. Maybe they didn't even have control of all. Of them. We got eyes on the objective. That was around the time we first set eyes on the DJ's transmitter. Something weird going on around here. Living out of whatever box you can find, you start to get used to strange noises and things that go bubbling at night. But it's the, it's the clicking and the, the clock and the, the clicking again. It's kind of gambling, I tell you. Whatever it is, I, I don't like it one bit. As you command.
Once we actually got close enough to see the transmitter, it was clear as day that our DJ had failed to mention one critical detail. The damn thing was pure alien technology, and not even Advent stuff. Something older. To this day, I still have no idea how he had managed to get any of it working. But it was all starting to make a lot more sense. That was one transmitter down, but our job wasn't done yet. We managed to destroy the transmitter and cut off the signal. But that was only enough to stop the onslaught for a few miles in each direction. There was still work to be done. There was some salvageable equipment among the aliens we took out. But we didn't have a whole lot of time to take inventory. 